subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, I'm Tanushri and I am Microsoft AZ900, DP900 and SE900 certified. But today I'll be discussing about SC900 certification exams. Uh, SC900 certification is a fundamental certification for security, compliance and identity management. And there are more certifications on the list, but this is the fundamental one. Uh, it took me around 7 days, 7 to 10 days around to go through the entire Microsoft Docs which is free of cost. I noted down the important services, the important topics, the important concepts, their use cases and most importantly the keywords and the difference between two similar subject uh, services because uh, knowing the difference between two similar services will help you eliminate the options in the real exam. Then I revised this, these notes and went for the exam dumb videos that are available in the YouTube. Those dumb videos were very helpful because uh, it was kind of a revision for me. Then it was a final revision for me. Then I appeared for the exam. But uh, I would recommend that if time permits, it's better to go for practice exams before appearing for the real exam. Because while appearing for these practice exams, some of the questions or some of the services will be familiar to you and concrete to you. I would rather say that this exam is not that difficult, rather it's easy, but uh, if you are familiar with the services offered by Microsoft Azure, like we have a sound knowledge about the services and their use cases, then you are good to go because in the real exam, what they ask is if this is the, if an organization is having this, these issues and this is the scenario, like which cloud solution will you propose? So all these type of questions are there and what you need to do is you just need to eliminate the options as per your knowledge and choose the correct answer. This is the thing. The exam comprises of some scenario based questions, some fill in the blank questions and some match the following questions. And mostly the keywords which you must have noticed in the docs and the difference which you have noted out in your notes will help you answering this type of questions. Like most of the questions will be able to answer if you go with this strategy. Since cloud is a booming technology these days, so having such certifications is a proof in itself that you are aware of the cloud services offered and the cloud concepts. Those certifications do not portray that you are an expert in the field, but uh, it shows that you have minimum knowledge that are required to sharpen your skills and propose good no uh, cloud solutions for your organization. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel 